All right, what's up, everyone? I'm really excited for today. We have the Pokemon celebrations. Let me pick up this and show it. This is the Ultra Premium Celebrations box. It's really well packaged. I'm going to assume that says train on, and that's just being blocked off over there. I'm going to try to get all angles. Just kind of show off what the box looks like. This is sealed currently. That's it opened up. This is probably the most expensive box of cards I bought. There you can see you got two metal cards, Pokemon Pikachu, a bunch of packs, two more gold cards, some coins, a pen. Got a ton of stuff. And so yeah. That being said, let's get into it and open this box up. Alright. We got the box opened up, or at least we got the wrapping off. Here's kind of like a final look. You can kind of see the reflection logo. It does say train on. There goes more Pokemon logos on the side. Trading card game. You got the Pikachu tail. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard to see. But uh, the white part of the box actually has all the starters on there. At least I'm assuming it's all the starters. There you can kind of see. Like that like glimmer of light. I want to actually record the actual opening. Just to see. I guess it's upside down. Turn it this way. Train on, Pikachu tail. You got more of the starters. It's kind of like a silver finish. Alright, I have no idea how I'm going to be able. I'm going to try to like record the pulling out of the boxes. Oh no. Hmm. Alright, let's see if I can get this one out. I think this might have. Okay, so this has the gold cards with some packs. I'm going to save that. Then we have, those are the big boys. The big cards. We got these. Now these are the additional packs. I'm going to pull this out. Grab these. Ooh, we got a code card. Alright, so I'm going to open up these. Let's see what packs we got. We got Chilling Rain, two, three Chilling Rain. Three vivid voltage and two darkness ablaze. So we'll go, we'll go newest first. Maybe this will work. Hopefully, I don't knock anything over. All right, I'm gonna jump into these packs. I'm gonna open them quick, just kind of quickly get through them. All right, it's a non-hollow, rare. All right, second pack. Again, I'm gonna just quickly go through all of these packs. Because these are sets that have already been out. We got a hollow rare. It's one hit. Oh, I think I just saw a I think a V Max. Yeah. Here we go. So we got a Metagross V Max full art. So not bad on the hits for Chilling Rain. Let's see what Vivid Voltage has in store. Charmander. Nice. Ooh, an amazing rare. And then. Lucario as our non rare reverse hollow. Or uh, non rare. Non hollow rare. Oh my. I can't English. I'm too nervous. Or really too excited, I guess. I think there might be like 25 packs in there. 25 uh, celebration packs. I don't know. We'll find out. We have three more packs to open up. Four if you include the one that I'm opening up now. There goes a reverse and then a whale lord hollow. Nice. Doing pretty good so far on these extra packs that come in. I wonder if the packs that are coming in the celebration boxes that are non celebration packs, I wonder if they have like a higher pull rate than say if you got them in like an actual like vivid voltage box or something. I don't really know how they would determine that or choose what cards. Or what packs have like just better cards. There goes reverse. And then non hollow rare. It's a cool artwork though. I'm trying to go a little bit quick. Just because we got a ton of packs to open up in this box. And then I know we all want to get to the celebration stuff. Reverse. Non hollow rare. So yeah that's why I'd rather just kind of blow through this stuff. These like extra packs. Get onto the goodies. That is celebration. Celebrations, whatever. Reverse and non-hollow. 
All right. Not too good on the darkness of blaze, but not bad. So now I'm going to come take the left box out. There goes the two gold cards. Here goes our gold cards. That's got that's just a Pokeball. You got the Pikachu. Playing back Pokemon card. I'm going to take it out in a second and sleeve it up. There goes a Pikachu V. Playing back. Nice looking cards. So now we get on to the main event. Goes the Pikachu. Oh, there's more. I didn't even see that. And then Charizard. Then we got a metal Pokemon coin. 25th anniversary logo. We also got this little neat Pikachu and Charizard pen. See if you can get a better look at that. Yeah. Looks nice. So I don't know. I mean. I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah. I won't hurt to take them out. Yeah, that's like a full-on metal card. It's got the coloring on there. It looks nice. In person. Oh, no. The backing's like metal. I don't know if you can get these submitted to PSA for grading since it's like, I guess since it's just technically not a card. Then we got the Pikachu. Slide him out. It's like a full on metal card, like a vibe. No, I don't really do it justice. I'm smack it on the desk. It's like, it's metal. Cool how they have the actual artwork and like coloring from it. And there goes the back. Very nice. Really good quality stuff. Alright, so here goes the Pikachu V gold card as well as the Pokeball gold card. That's just them out of their like normal packaging sleeve. Alright, so I'm gonna set these off to the side and we're gonna start opening up some celebration packs. Alright, we got our Charizard and Pikachu in the back. Here goes all of our packs. I don't know how many we get. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So how many packs did I get from the Alright, so it was twenty-five packs in total. You get seventeen celebration packs and then eight of the regular sword and shield set packs. Wonder why they would do the regular sword and shield packs in a box like this. Do you think they should have done it? Or should they just kind of put 25 celebration packs in there? I don't know. Let me know. So we got Xerneas. I need to make room. I'm running out of room already. Kyogre. Here comes Team Rocket. Nice. Classic collection. And in the back we got Zamazenta V. Nice. Alright. Dialga. Cosmog. Cosmoium. And Lunala. Hey, so we just got the evolution of... I don't know, Lunala, Sogalio. Right, let's get into our third pack. See what we get. Cosmog. Cosmoium. Umbreon Gold Star. Dang. Alright, so I just got like all of my chase cards. We got the Shiny Magic Card, Charizard, the Gold Mew. Now we got Umbreon. Holy. And then a Mew behind it. Dang. Honestly, I wasn't even expecting that. I didn't even see it as an Umbreon when it first, like, when I first pulled the card from in front of it. I thought it was something else, so I was kind of confused at first. But, there we go. I think probably the Charizard and then this might be, like, the two most sought-after cards, maybe. I don't know, it's definitely up there. That's crazy that we got that. That's only the third pack. Let's just keep ripping and pulling. Alright, Dialga, Kyogre, Xerneas, and what do we get behind it? So Galio. Alright, nice, nice, nice. I wonder why they don't have Giratina as one of the legendaries up here. Like they got Palkia and Dialga, but they don't have Giratina. Which then again, I guess there are other like kind of like side legendary Pokemon that they don't have in here. So maybe they just have like the main ones from the main games. So Reshiram, Grudon. 
Cosmog, and then Professor's Research. All right, Sekrom, Groudon, Dark Gyarados, nice, classic collection. And we got Professor's Research, nice. I'll take it. I wonder if for this box, if they made the pool rates better for just like the celebration packs. Ho ho, Garchomp level X or C level X, whatever you want to call it. Flying Pikachu, nice. I love the level X cards. That was like the era I grew up in. The Diamond and Pearl and Platinum era. I still need to get, I don't think I have the Flying Pikachu VMAX. I need to find it. We got plenty of celebrations though, so. I'm sure we'll get it at some point. Continue ripping some packs or wax, whatever. I don't know if Pokemon cards are considered wax. I think that's more of like a sports card thing. Let me know. All right, Palkia, Dialga, Diamond and Pearl, Reshiram, and then Lunala. Nothing in there. Although technically all of those are hollows, but not really the chase stuff we're looking for. So we got Dialga, Cosmog, Blastoise, Oh my, so there goes all three of the starters. Then I got Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur, and then Mew. My luck with celebrations is insane right now. I haven't even opened that many boxes. I still got tons of boxes to open. The few boxes I have opened and packs I've opened, I've gotten like some pretty good stuff. I think I've completed my chase then because that's literally out of the classic collection. That's really all I wanted was uh, the three main starters, then the Umbreon and Magikarp, and then out of like the main set or collection whatever was just the gold mew diaga and so galio i'm hyped right now i mean i'm honestly i don't know i'm fine if we don't really pull anything else because like kind of completed everything cosmoium diaga kyogre lunala oh that's two packs back to back with nothing okay interesting i see celebrations is kind of cooling down a little maybe it's kind of recognizing a little bit too much heat going on. I'm really scared when opening these packs since there's only four cards about like bending any of the cards. Because the other packs you got ten cards so it's like they kind of have some density to them. Lugia, Xerneas, Rockets Admin. Nice. And we got Surf and Pikachu. Nice. Alright let's see what else we got. You think there's a pack out there that doesn't have a code card in it but has like an extra like fifth celebrations card? Somehow got like mixed up. I wonder. Cosmog. Claydol. I wonder what's so special about this card. What's it like? What makes it a classic card? Because I don't see it. It's not like a primal card. It's not like. I don't know. To me, it just like doesn't like have anything. I don't know though. Oh no, I'm knocking over Charizard. And then we got Lunala, Cosmoium, Dialga, Blastoise again nice and we got so galio so we got uh two blastoids from the same box all right we got three packs left let's end it off with a bang if i can just get it open cosmoium diogia diog oh my diaga kyogre professor's research all right last two packs come on we need big hits this one actually feels thick this they both kind of have some thickness to them. all right i'm gonna leave that one there that one feels really thick this one feels thicker than the others Maybe the last pack has two hits and this one just has one. Xerneas. Ho ho. That's a cool artwork. Cosmoium. And then Sogalio. Alright. This one feels kind of thick. I believe in the heart of the cards. Even though that's Yu-Gi-Oh. But still. Alright. Kyogre. Xerneas. Ho ho. Oh, come on. Flying Pikachu. Alright. Not exactly the best ending. Not too bad. I'm gonna collect all of our hits. I guess these two kind of count as hits. I don't really know if you would exactly count them as hits, but I have to say these two gold cards, like gold metal cards, the Umbreon Gold Star definitely probably is like the best pull from the packs. And then of course we have the Pikachu V gold card, and then a Pokeball gold card, gold card. They look really nice. They look really yellow. On camera in person they kind of are a bit more chill which I got I'm like right by a window so I kind of might be messing with the lighting but yeah that's gonna do it for this Pokemon card pack opening if I can set the Umbreon there kind of make like an ending shot that'll do it for this one 
Um, I'm not done with celebrations. I still have plenty of cards and packs to open. I actually have like another box or two I want to get. So we're definitely not done with that. But yeah, it was a great opening and I'll see you on the next one.